Matemba Uwange Shia Joseph Shabalala, the founder, former composer, lead singer and music director of Ladysmith Black Mambazo, was born in Ladysmith, KwaZulu-Natal. He grew up on a farm with six siblings and later had to fend for his family after his father's death. He went to find work in Durban in the late 1950s. This is where he formed the popular male choral group Ladysmith Black Mambazo in 1964. It became famous for its Istratamir harmonies, which came to Shabalala in a series of dreams. Istratamir is traditional Zulu music. And then he told us the story that he wanted to achieve this kind of music, it's called Istratamir. In fact, he said he had a dream that he dreamed of his grandmother, who said, we are we are the people that were going to help him to achieve what he wanted to achieve. Uh, when people were were forced to go and start working at the at the big cities at the mines. So when they started to remember uh, to miss their homes and started singing the songs that they used to sing back home. But then now here yeah, there's no sisters, there's no mothers. There are there are no the the they missing those. Uh, small voices, those sopranos, those altos. So that's when the Stachamia started. Uh, when you sing uh, the Zulu music, you have to do you do the dance too, which is Zulu dance, where you stomp the floor very hard. And now, if you are here in towns, if you are in hostels, you're making noise for your neighbors. So you have to touch the floor and don't stomp, don't make noise. So I have been looking up to him. He has been my hero since I was a little boy. So when he said he wants to sing with me, I said, wow, this is wonderful. So, so how that he started? And then so when I got too excited, he said, no, I want you to listen carefully because I want something different. I know that we all know uh, Istratamir music. We grew up singing this kind of music. But now I want us to do something different and something new. In those early years, the group, which comprised of seven members, rehearsed after work till midnight. And it paid off. They soon scooped all the honours at the Stratamia competitions in Durban and Johannesburg. In the early 1970s, the group was even forbidden from taking part in the competitions because of their success. Joseph, he told us when he's teaching us, he say, hey guys, if you can sing this music, you can go all around in the world, you can go overseas, you can go anywhere. In fact, we don't trust him. <laughs> but we like to do what he wants us to do. So when we start, he gives us a, a, a right, right note, and when he start, he's got another song. When he start, he says, Vela, Vela, Vena, Vela, Vena. He start very soft, he start very soft. He said, to, to, to shout and make a big noise is not work. Recordings on the SABC station, the then Radio Zulu, were followed by a recording contract with Gallo Records, which saw them achieve gold status for their first album, Amabuto, the first such achievement by a black music group. Subsequent albums received gold or platinum status. Their big international break came when Paul Simon visited South Africa in 1985 and contacted them to collaborate on his Graceland album. When we received the message that it's someone in Johannesburg who wants to meet Joseph and then so they said it's a gentleman from America. We thought maybe it's somebody who sings the, the, the gospel music, maybe American gospel. But when we heard that it's Paul Simon, I said, wow, because we knew his song was playing on the radio said he sings a different kind of music, how is going to do this? But we said, okay, so we we'll see, because Joseph, after he met him, he said, he's, he said he wants to do something with us. <laughs> Somebody cry, why, why, why? They recorded with Simon in London, and after that, performed with him in New York. The Graceland album, which included the famous song Homeless, which Shabalala co-composed, was released a year later. It sold 16 million copies, which boosted their international image. Homeless, 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 we homeless, 
The success of the Graceland recording and subsequent concert tours led to a strong touring life for the group that continues today. What Joseph's doing here is, uh, is invaluable in, in preserving the history. For me personally, I mean, I've learned a lot from uh, uh, the singing of uh, uh, Black Mombazo. How they keep the basses going underneath and the harmonies. Yes, yeah. I've learned it and I've used it. Uh, I've used it in other songs that uh, when Joseph isn't there, I steal his ideas when he's not there, <laughs> and I use them anyway. <laughs> and I don't tell him. <laughs> Lady Smith Black Mombazo performs concert tours around the world for six or more months every year. Shabalala's contribution to the music industry was also recognized. He received an honorary doctorate from the Durban University of Technology in 2015 and was also recognized as a living legend by the Etiquene municipality in 2017. Indeed, it is unbelievable. Nobody was thinking about the name East Atamia. A farm boy can tell people something for the people around the world. It's something like we respect one another with the English people, with the what, what we respect. We have been around, but all that is because of you guys. Your hands, when you clap hands, and then overseas they said, what is that? Oh, what is that? That's why we are always happy now. When questions were being asked about his retirement, Shabalala, in a statement in 2008, said the group had to continue to serve as cultural ambassadors. He said his vision was to spread a message of peace and harmony around the world, and most of all, to keep traditional music alive. Four of his sons have joined the group. Before he retired, uh, he get us together, myself and my brothers, and he prayed for us and he said he, it was his time. He, he doesn't feel that he's going to do this um, long enough, so he wants us to continue with the group. So it was, it, to me, it was a, a challenge to, to fit in, in in his shoes. It's still, uh, to me, a load uh, because he has done a lot. Um, I'm not trying to imitate him, but uh, to step in his foot is very challenging. My father used to say we must keep it a uh, tradition. Uh, just make sure that whatever we do, we keep it uh, more to our roots. So keeping it like that makes it interesting for the people because they hear the traditional music of South, of South Africa as it is. Collaborations with many international stars also continue, as well as with stars from the continent. It proves that it's possible to, for us as Africans to unite, and artists have a big role to play. And uh, yes, being with uh, Lady Smith, Black Mombasa, and uh, I've always wanted to work with them. <laughs> We want Africa united and we all always think that South Africa is a very good place for peace for everybody in, in the world, for everybody in, in Africa. This song is very powerful because it's talking about culture, how to stay together, how to love one another. Shabalala's influence will never be forgotten. But anyone can sing that song, but no one can sing like her, Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Because when he's singing, King of King, he say, Oh, King of King, then be the King of King, we kneel before your father. He say, Your pronunciation must be good. And, uh, and you must, must say what, what, what you say. And look at the people and happy to see the people. 
you must laugh and enjoy to sing in front of the people. And the nominations and awards have kept rolling in for the group which has become an international sensation. They have recorded 60 albums in four decades and recently received their fifth Grammy Award for Best Music Album. Shabalala retired from the group in 2014. <laughs> 